Today I will show you how to draft and sew this apron top. It's a loose fit top and it can be used as an apron or for styling layered looks. There are elastic bands on the sides to gather and shape the top into this kind of flowy shape. The patterns are pretty easy to make. It's just three piece pattern. And uh, we will start by taking two measurements. First is how long you want the top to be. The second measurement that we need is the bust, which I only measure enough length to cover my bust, so it is not all the way to the sides. With these two measurements, we will create the box for our front and back pattern. Next, we will divide the bust equally and draw a line across. This line will be the center front and center back of our pattern. These two lines will be the sides and the armhole. Now we measure how deep we want the armhole to be. I end the armhole at the underbus area, so like where my, my bra ends. Uh, we also need the shoulder width. For your reference, I am using a 6.5 cm width, width, width. Mark the armhole length and draw a line. Now we will create the front shoulder and the neckline. We're going to make like a rounded neckline and I'm going to measure 9 centimeters downwards. And on the shoulder side, we'll mark 2 centimeters. We will mark 2 centimeters for the shoulder slant because your, your shoulders are not like straight across. It kind of slant downwards. Okay, from this point, measure out the shoulder width. So I'm using 6.5 and measure it so that it lands on the line. Join it to the 9 centimeter neck point. Now we will create a guide to draw the neckline. We will drop the center point of this line at 2.5 centimeters. So you can play around with this. You don't have to make it a round neckline. You can make it a v-neck, a boat neck. Uh, over here at the center, you want to start the neckline with a perpendicular line. The line have to be right angle to the center front. This way your neckline will not have a spike in the middle, like a pokey thing in the middle. Now we will use a curvy ruler or anything with a curve to connect the lines together. It doesn't have to be like, you don't have to draw like a single curve all the way, it's okay to adjust the ruler to get a smooth line. Uh, over here I'm doing the arm holes. We will curve it inwards about half a centimeter in the center and then draw a curved line. The back neckline is drawn up the same way except that it is higher than the front neckline. I use a 4 cm drop for the center point. The shoulder slant is the same at 2 cm and the shoulder width same 6.5 cm. The back neckline is not as deep as the front, so the reference point for drawing the curve, 1.5 centimeters. And the armhole is drafted the same way as the front panel. For the side panel, I want the center of the panel to be shorter 
so that the side will rise up a bit. So I took out about 2.5 centimeters from this line. Then I draw two perpendicular lines from the top and bottom. The top line will complete the armhole and it's also where the gathers will be. Since I needed about 5-ish centimeter on each side of the top to loosely fit me, I tripled that amount to account for the gathers. So here I use uh, 8 centimeters. So it's 8, it's eight because 5-ish uh, times 3 is about 15-ish. So that's 16 centimeters and I'm making half a pattern so I got 8 centimeters. So you can play with this number to control how flowy you want your top to be. Okay, now that we got this point down, we will draw a line from this point so that the line is the same length as the body panel over here. Uh, since this line will be sewn onto the front and the back panels, so it needs to be the same.